We have always questioned the existence of life beyond our planet, but what if we told you that the likelihood of other forms of life is now stronger than ever, and that this notion could completely challenge our understanding of the universe? The new James Watt Space Telescope acts as a kind of time machine by allowing us to go back to the earliest moments of the formation of the universe. Through it, six astonishing galaxies have been detected and defy conventional explanation. These galaxies were identified by the James Webb Telescope and exist 500 million years after the Big Bang, being 10 times larger than our own Milky Way galaxy. The discovery is so shocking because the formation of a galaxy is an extremely complex and time-consuming process. The first galaxies that formed more than 13 billion years ago were quite small and took hundreds of millions of years to evolve into the galactic structures we know today. However, scientists have found six ancient galaxies that defied all of these known rules. These galaxies are believed to have formed just 500 million years after the Big Bang and contain populations of stars ranging from tens to even hundreds of millions of miles. American theoretical physicist Michio Kaku is equally perplexed by this groundbreaking discovery, which has the potential to change our understanding of the cosmos as a whole. We have gained insights into the vast universe thanks to the James Watt Space Telescope, a $10 billion NASA project launched in December 2021. This instrument has revealed the existence of six enormous galaxies, each about the size of our Milky Way galaxy. The amazing thing is that these galaxies formed at an early stage in the history of the universe and contain a number of stars that is not just a few times larger than our sun, but several miles of millions of times larger. To further amaze us, it is estimated that one of these cosmic objects could have a mass of stars up to 100 billion times greater than that of our sun. To put it in perspective, the Milky Way, which we consider our home, has a stellar mass just 60 billion times that of our sun. This discovery is truly amazing, and Erica Nelson, one of the scientists involved in this project, describes it as bananas. Along with the same lines, Michio Kaku believes that this finding reveals huge gaps in our knowledge of the cosmos, suggesting that it could challenge the fundamental rules of cosmology. In fact, these cosmic objects have been dubbed universe breakers, as they challenged our conventional understanding of galactic formation. This discovery could require a complete overhaul of our current theories of the formation of the universe. Thus, we are facing the possibility of exciting new revelations about the cosmos. In terms of explained cosmology, we can imagine the universe as a baby born from an incredibly hot and dense point some 13.7 billion years ago, according to the Big Bang model. As this baby grew, it expanded at an incredible rate, doubling in size more than 90 times during its first growth period. As it expanded, matter formed and the universe cooled. Then came a crucial moment called recombination, when electrons combined with nuclei to form atoms, making the universe transparent. After this came the Dark Ages, a period of darkness before the first stars and galaxies emerged, approximately 150 to 400 million years later. The universe began to emerge from darkness in a period known as reionization, approximately 9 billion years after the Big Bang. During this time, our solar system came to life. However, the discovery of new galaxies that appeared to be approximately 13.5 billion years old challenges much of what we thought we understood about cosmic inflation. These galaxies are so huge that they contradict 90.9% of established cosmological models, suggesting that we will need to revise or even completely reevaluate our theories of galaxy formation. This raises the possibility that the Dark Ages, a periodically considered dark, may not be so dark after all, and that star formation begins much earlier than previously thought. Prior to this discovery, the farthest known galaxy, GNZ 11, was discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. However, the new findings from the James Webb Telescope could radically transform our understanding of cosmology and challenge everything we thought we knew. 
Perhaps previous studies of the Milky Way galaxy already hinted at how early stars emerged after the Big Bang, and these discoveries of distant galaxies could have been simply a matter of time. In another astonishing study, scientists have revealed the precise age of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. According to a recent study published in the journal Nature, parts of the Milky Way formed just 800 million years after the Big Bang. Using data from nearly a quarter of a million stars, astronomers were able to determine the timing of the Milky Way's division into two populations, the younger inner disk, which includes our Sun, and the older, thicker disk, which extends outward. The researchers discovered that the horrible disk of our galaxy, the Milky Way, probably began to form about 13 billion years ago, just 800 million years after the Big Bang. Meanwhile, the intergalactic halo formed about 2 billion years later. But there's more. It turns out that the galaxy's inner halo emerged after the merger of the Milky Way with another dwarf galaxy called Gaia Esolandis between 8 and 11 billion years ago. This discovery sheds light on the formation of our galaxy and presents an intriguing challenge for scientists. These newly discovered galaxies are puzzling the scientific community as never before. The density of matter in these galaxies is so extraordinarily high that it is puzzling even the most experienced cosmologists. Moreover, the amount of normal matter in these galaxies does not match the amount of dark matter in their halos, which presents a considerable conundrum. Dark matter is one of the most fascinating mysteries in cosmology and in modern physics. It is believed to make up approximately 27% of the universe, but its exact nature remains largely unknown. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and undetectable by conventional methods of astronomical observation. The existence of dark matter is postulated to explain various phenomena observed in the universe, such as the rotational velocities of galaxies, the mass distributions in galactic clusters, and the large-scale structure of the cosmos. However, despite its importance to our understanding of the universe, scientists have not yet succeeded in directly detecting dark matter particles. Several theories have been proposed about the nature of dark matter, ranging from hypothetical subatomic particles, such as the neutralino, to theories that modify gravity on cosmic scales, such as the modified gravity theory. Experiments in subway laboratories and particle accelerators, as well as astronomical observations, continue to search for direct evidence of dark matter. Understanding dark matter is crucial to understanding the evolution and structure of the large-scale universe. Its eventual discovery could have profound implications for our fundamental understandings of physics and cosmology, and could open new frontiers in our understanding of the universe and how we interact with it. Despite the research team's effort to find flaws in their conclusions, their data have so far withstood review, suggesting that we may be facing the need to rewrite the cosmic history books. This exciting challenge has led researchers to question whether they could be giant quasars or supermassive black holes, which would open up a new set of questions about the early evolution of the universe and the understanding of supermassive black holes already known to exist at the centers of many galaxies. Let us know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.